Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another deck testing video, and this time I will be testing the Spider Ham Justice Preview deck against Sandman on standard difficulty. Uh, the only change I made to Sandman is that I added a new modular set that comes in with the Spider Ham deck. So it is the Inheritors uh, modular set. So Let's see how uh, Spider-Ham does with the pre-built deck, and let's get started. Okay, and uh, we are ready to begin. So, I have already pre some of the decks. The City Streets is in play, and uh, we still need to flip this and add the starting threat to the uh, main scheme. So... Uh, Spider Ham is an interesting uh, hero to play. A uh, lot of the cards in uh, his signature set says to do something silly. <laughs> I won't be doing any of that silly stuff. Uh, it, it would be pointless of camera, or and I don't want to break any ears by yelling or doing the sound effects or something like that. So we'll just uh, do play the card and do what it says uh, outside of doing the silly stuff. But of course, feel free to. Do the silly stuff when playing live with other players. I think that would be pretty fun, fun and interesting to see how people uh, cosplay or, or role play uh, Spider Ham. But let's see our opening hand of six cards. So uh, for our starting hand, we get organic webbing, uh, making an entrance one way or another. Petulant Pig, Cartoon Physics, and Swinging Web Pig. So, I think uh, we might want to get Organic Webbing into play. Mm, well, we don't have uh, that much Cartoon or Tattoon tokens at the start. Uh, as I don't have anything interesting, I'm just using these uh, blue tokens as the tomb tokens. Uh, Petulant Pig uh, is an event. Stick your tongue out and at the villain. The villain attacks you draw three cards. Well, we could do that. To get some cards, we could also do this. To get some cards, uh, when your hero makes a basic thwart, it gets plus two threat for this thwart. After that thwart ends with your you almost all threat from a scheme that way he will do damage. Okay, so that sounds good. Cartoon physics. When your item will take any amount of damage, discard this card, wiggle your body. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, I think we'll start with this. This could be interesting. Uh, first off, I think we won't be playing anything in. Uh, there's nothing to do in the Alter Ego, so we'll just go to hero mode. So each two encounters one experience. Okay. Um, after Spider Ham takes any amount of damage, place one two power him. Okay. Well, we are taking some damage. First off, we'll do the one way or another. So first encounter deck for a side scheme. Reveal that side scheme. Draw three cards. So I'll play this and I'll search this deck for a side scheme. So. That sucks. The trap. I think that is easy to get rid of. Uh, we don't want that. So just looking through the deck. No panic in the streets. No, thank you. The trap. I think the trap is okay. We shuffle the deck. So we put this into play and draw card, uh, three cards. So we are getting a really fast uh, card draw start with this, uh, these cards. So we draw three cards. Uh, team building exercise followed and swing the pig. Okay. Then. Uh, I will, let's see, 
I'll play the team building exercise. I'll use followed and organic webbing. Then I'll use this to uh, play cartoon physics. Then uh, I will just uh, Use one of the swinging web peaks to make uh, making an entrance. So let's see. Okay. Actually, let's do this in another order because we want to take a bit of damage. Mm. Uh, so will you play the petulant pig? So stick your tongue out at villain. The villain attacks you. Car, so Sandman attacks me. Uh, so two plus two is four. I'll use the card on physics. So uh, when your identity would take any amount of damage, discard this card, wiggle your body, and prevent all but one of that damage. So we take one damage, draw three cards. One. So this will be a long first turn because we're drawing so many cards. So we take one damage. So uh, when Sandman attacks you, that attack deals indirect damage if your identity takes any amount of damage from that attack result the surging sand. So we'll add, first of all, we added one because uh, after Spider-Man takes any amount of damage based on two counter on him. Then we also put one here and discard five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then... Mm. We'll put Overwatch on this scheme. We will make an entrance by using the uh, we'll actually hmm. we'll use the other overwatch to play followed on this scheme so we are going to make a lot of damage uh, I think I'll save uh, one of the swinging web picks the next round, but this round, uh, no, I have to use both of them. So first of all, we are making an entrance. We will heal one damage, remove all of here. This triggers, this gets removed, this deals four. Hoping to keep track of, er oh yeah, damn, we have to do. So we'll put the uh, uh, cards the other way because I have to uh, work this and uh, I remove equal amount. Okay, so uh, when any amount of threat is removed, okay, so we only remove one, but still uh, we put both of these on this. So uh, this gets removed. Uh, we resolve the searching sands. So one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Well, uh, we had a fast start, but it is what it is. So mm. okay. Then we will play one of the swinging web kicks to play hogwash. We remove one from counter, and uh, we would read the flavor text. So we'll deal five damage, and that is our turn. We keep this in hand. We ready up, and we draw back up to five. One, two, three, four cards. Another team building exercise. Great for responsibility. The daily beagle. Overwatch and we have the swinging web kick for next round. 
I will go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Sandman attacks. Do I want to defend? No. So we'll take two plus three is five. Well, that hurt. And we have to resolve this. So we're, we really need to get some allies to get rid of those sand counters. But, uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this could, uh, we, we are bound to get a lot of uh, acceleration <laughs> tokens, it seems. And then we get an encounter card. It is Sand Clone. And that is it. So, <laughs> attack of seven. So, we really need to defeat that one next round. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well. Hmm. Um, unfortunately, the swing new web kick is not a super power. So, oh yeah, we have the cartoon trade, so we can we can actually pay that. Yeah. So uh, we'll uh, for the rest. I'll. Just play these to play on one of these. Uh, no, that is not enough. So we can get one from here. I'll just put Overwatch over here. We'll spend these and this to play Swinging Web Pig and. Uh, We'll just defeat the Sand Clone. Um, we will thwart for two. Go to Alter Ego. And put this on here. And discard this. And... Uh, we ready up. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. We get one way or another. Lady Spider, Scarlet Spider, Swing Web Kick, Petal and Pig, and a huge wooden hammer. So some allies finally show up so we can start removing those sand counters. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one set to the main scheme. Sandman schemes for one plus two is three, so we're at four. We'll get an encounter card. It is Shadows of the Past. And we get the Green Gobbler uh, Nefarious Trap. When defeated, the Green Gobbler attacks the player who defeated this team. If the Green Gobbler is not in play, search encounter deck and discard pile for him and put him into play engaged with the player who defeated this team. And that comes into play with three. So. Okay, well. That sucks, but at least we have the Overwatch, which will help. And we uh, shuffle these cards into the deck, which slows the deck down a bit, but those cards are a bit nasty, so... After the Green Coupler engages you, discard all counters from each card to control. Well, that that sucks, so we, we pretty much have to swing web pig that enemy away. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. So I think I will do the basic recovery. Five. I'll get a two counter. I will flip. Now, do we want to play one way or another? Mm, I think not. Or maybe we do. Well, let's risk it. I'll play one way or another. Do we have any side schemes? No. So we just lost that card. It sucks. Uh, 
Okay, well... I'll... Uh, swimming web pig... by... Using these three, so swimming with pig to the green gobbler, and uh, that is all we can do. We are ready up. We keep this in hand. We draw up to five. Web of Life and Destiny, I don't think so, and Spider will go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Uh, Sandman attacks. I won't defend, so two plus two is four. And uh, we add one here. Discard eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Encounter card is Assault. Uh, no point in defending, uh, 2 plus 0 is 2, and uh, we add 1 here, so 1, 2, 3, so that gets discarded. We shuffle this back, then uh, we also get an additional card which we should have pulled before we start discarding, I'll pull it. I'll pull it in a minute. Forgot I have this in place, so the second one is assault. Oh no. Well, uh, we want defend 2 plus 0. Down to 4. So, as you can see, this scenario got out of hand quick. But it is what it is, so uh, we resolve this. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we'll start by... We could have played, I don't think so, but yeah, I, I missed that. Mm. We'll play Spider, and we'll play Big Wooden Hammer. So Spider will remove one counter from here. Uh, we will um, ignore these and go after Sandman, so uh, we remove one. So. We get plus one attack. Uh, when Spider Ham makes a basic attack, exhaust huge wooden hammer and remove one two counter from Spider Ham. Spider Ham gets plus two attack for that attack. That attack, attack gains overkill. So we'll hit for four damage. We are just trying to raise Sandman down now. Uh, we ready up. We draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, and we got a bunch of. Uh, uh, we got hit twice, so we get this. I'll actually click to hit. Uh, I can't because if that stage continues, we lose. So we have the spider to tackle the uh, attack. Uh, actually, we'll back up even more. So we will uh, actually hit instead of removing the sand counter. So, yeah, that is our player turn. One, two, three, four, five. We get one way or another, even the odds uh, followed, making entrance and team building exercise. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Uh, Sandpan attacks, uh, spider will defend. Actually, let's back up. We'll uh, do the original because I forgot uh, Sandman's uh, attacks are indirect, so we have to probably defend for this one. So we'll defend. 
so we get three and uh, take two here one here uh, oh no we'll only take two so we'll put them on spider so this doesn't trigger uh, encounter cards or sandstorm uh, deal x indirect damage among players uh, where x is equal to the number of sand encounters on city streets. If there are no sand counters here, place three sand counters. So we are taking 10, 10 indirect damage, which will kill us, and there's no, nothing to avoid that. So, um, actually. Yeah. And actually, nine, but still. Nine indirect damage, and that is the game, so. Uh, that that was an annoying loss, but still I think this is doable. I just uh, weren't able to remove the sand counters right away. I didn't get any allies in, in play to stop Sandman from adding those sand counters, so that uh, cost me the game basically. So uh, nothing I could do at this point, but still I think I will try this out of cam camera sometime and see what how how the game goes. I really didn't get to experience any of these uh, uh, inheritors cards. They just were discarded all the time, but it is what it is. So still, uh, my thoughts on uh, Spider Ham are a bit divided. I, as a solo player, I really don't my, uh, like the cartoon stuff like doing silly things for card effects and stuff like that. Uh, if you are unlucky in this scenario with spider Ham and don't get any uh, any of the uh, allies that are in the deck into play, uh, you are bound to not be able to remove the sand counters efficiently, because spider Ham's attack is only one. Uh, if you don't get the hammer down, then uh, uh, you only remove one by uh, exhausting, and that is not really good. You should at least want to get two of of each round. But anyway, that was Spiderham Justice pre-built deck against Sandman. Hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.